right guys so you know the average person will have one bag and put all their belongings inside there but this is how you know when you're uh, you have Asian parents you have a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag and inside of a bag <laughs> Welcome back to this week's vlog guys, bonjour, welcome to Montreal. Before we go check out the show, I uh, just want to say Montreal is uh, absolutely gorgeous, it's beautiful, but the only thing is the roads are shitty you guys. Um, quick note, if you guys do visit Montreal, uh, you can't turn right on a solid red, uh, apparently they don't turn right here. Uh, two, Flashing green means you can turn left, even though there's cars coming, uh, they'll yield to you. So flashing green, you can turn left. It's kind of weird here and the potholes are horrendous. It's like, it's it's really bad. You know, when I was looking at uh, Instagram pictures and other um, pictures online, uh, they have a lot of nice, nice cars like R8s and Huracans and Lamborghinis and you name it, like all the exotics are here. But first, first impression, I was like, how, how the hell do they drive these cars here in these road conditions? Like it's it's bad. I thought Alberta was bad, but this is even worse. But uh, anyways, let's get the vlog started, you guys. And uh, let's go check this place out. There's a few things that I want to check out on the list. Uh, first would be uh, Montreal smoked meat, which is uh, Swartz. Two, best team in town. Uh, I'm going to check out um, Les Bonquis and uh, of course the Driven Show. So let's go check it out. And oh, oh and by the way, in Old Montreal, which is uh, I'm here right now in Old Montreal, and it's absolutely uh, stunning the old architectural uh, structures here. So let's go check it out. Montreal it's, it's, it's amazing you guys like if you guys enjoy uh, the architectural like marvels and uh, love expressos and coffees you can spend literally a whole good two or three hours there sipping away on your espresso or your coffee and enjoy the scenery and it's uh, a good way to relax so yeah I do highly recommend uh, checking out old Montreal you guys I'm taking one of these you guys this is pretty nice NSX with a uh, somewhat of a wide body kit. Super, super clean. And then you got this one, fairly stock. Same color. What do you guys think? You guys want fairly stock? Or do you want modified and wide body? You want to keep it stock? modified look at this clean setup you guys for a bmw this is bonkers wow amazing the amount of work that this guy put into this like look at the fire extinguisher you guys you got the pole like look at even the speakers on that I wish the lighting was a little better here, but uh, it kind of sucks. Like, look at even the carpet in here. The 
इसको चेक दे Pretty sure this one might win one for the uh, probably best BMW in show. All right, guys. So my prediction: this uh, BMW is going to take an, an award home for sure. Look at this super nice Eleanor, you guys. Super, super clean. We got the uh, the Marilyn Monroe she beat there. Shelby America. Pretty cool. We're done. So I did ask my friend, what is a good poutine or what makes a good poutine? So he's gonna poutine or poutine? Poutine. Poutine. <laughs> okay, he's gonna explain poutine. to us what makes a good poutine. So you always have to have fresh cut fries. If fresh they're frozen, fries. leave. Okay. If you can, they got to be red potatoes. Um, the best thing is cooked in peanut oil and you have to have cheese curds. If it's mozzarella, walk out. <laughs> and then the gravy, that's a trial and error. So why why not mozzarella cheese? Why not cheddar cheese? It's not the same. It's gotta be <laughs> cheese curd, you need the squeaky. It has exactly. to be stringy, right? Yep. Stringy, okay, okay. So when we go out, or what's a, what's a, what's a good poutine place in Montreal? Uh, I would either do La Banquise or Poutineville. Okay. Putsonville is pretty cool because you can choose different fries. They have twice fries, uh, smash fries, so more, they'll more variety, right? Yeah, yeah, they'll fry the potato, they'll crush it, and then refry it. And more, toppings. more toppings. You can put filet mignon on it if you want. And, but that one is a, uh, it's like a chain, right? It's a chain, yes. Okay, and the exactly. other, the other one you recommended is uh, more of a. Yeah, it's more of a. Pop. I, I think there's a couple of them. There might be one in Quebec City, but it's not like Putsonville. Okay. 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 So we're gonna choose the two. Or one, and we'll figure it out from there. All right, we'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So I'm at La Banquise Poutine. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much famous place uh, in Montreal for uh, poutine. And uh, I think I'm gonna start out with the uh, fried pickles first, and then I'm gonna go over the uh, poutine after. Alright guys, so that was pretty fantastic. Uh, highly recommend La Boquis or however Boquis La Boquis. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that was one of my uh, I guess bucket lists or uh, to do lists uh, when I visited Montreal. And uh, the poutine quote is right. It's like you do have to have fresh cut fries and the uh, cheese curds and the gravy has got to be on point and I could honestly do without any of the meat toppings or anything like that. Just a plain old fries, gravy, and uh, cheese curds. It's just uh, fantastic, you guys. So yeah, I will put the link in the description below. Make sure you go, guys, uh, go check it out. So what do you guys think? What do you think the perfect poutine is? Um, 
create your own poutine because at this place you can actually create your own poutine and put your kind of toppings that you want so uh leave a comment below and what do you, tell me what you think the perfect poutine is for me plain classic cheese gravy and fresh cut fries all right guys this is what i'm talking about so we ordered the number one which is just the um smoked meat and it comes with the bread and then i added the uh, pickles on and my wife got the coleslaw of course and she also got the uh, black cherry yeah, but this is what, what we're here for um you could order like a steak and stuff too but this is all what it's all about you guys order the uh smoked meat Swartz is definitely the place to hit up for sm uh, Montreal smoked meats. Just the meat is super tender, you guys. It wasn't really dry at all, and it wasn't overly bearing uh, in salt. So uh, yeah, fantastic place. Uh, go check it out if you guys are in the uh, Montreal uh, area. All right, guys. So we're done with the uh, driven car show, and uh, uh, it wasn't really what I expected because uh, I had an impression that the Montreal car scene is actually pretty good out here and uh, I didn't see many exotics I only saw one McLaren I think and amazingly I was surprised no R35s and on Instagram I have a big following with a lot of R35 guys from out in Montreal and Quebec here and yeah amazingly I didn't see not even one at the show but I know it's their first year here and uh, I know it's gonna come back bigger and stronger next year and uh, once people catch on that it's a uh, it's an actual car show uh, and grasp the idea that you know yeah you do have to pay to win an award and you know this and that or have a chance to win an award but I know it's going to come back stronger next year and the attendance is going to be bigger once the uh, once the award gets done but yeah um, that's my take on driven Montreal you guys all right you guys so this uh, Montreal trip is uh, coming to an end and I went off the vlog hope you guys enjoyed it. and if you guys did don't forget to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification and also hit the like button you guys and we'll catch you in the next one see ya